Arab quantity was much greater in men, arms, and ammunition, the Israelis were greater in quality. An example of this comes to the fore in some of the details of his service in Israel's War of Independence that Reuben E. Gross recalled for us. Reuben Gross is a lawyer from Staten Island, New York, who now resides in Jerusalem. In the days before the State of Israel was established, Reuben, together with his brother Herman Gross, operated in New York an underground shortwave radio station on which they sent and received coded secret messages to and from Haganah headquarters in Tel Aviv until they were discovered and stopped by the Federal Communications Commission and the FBI. In the fall of 1948, when his hearings before the Federal Communications Commissioner were over, Reuben Gross joined the fledgling Israeli Air Force and after an adventurous airplane journey, finally reached his unit in Jaffa. Ultimately, I was assigned to operating the uh, air-to-ground net at headquarters, which was at the Hotel Yarkon on Yarkon Street in Tel Aviv. Uh, and uh, this was during operation. Sometimes I was uh, assigned to uh, other nets, all of which uh, were operated uh, by net controls in the headquarters in Tel Aviv. Then when the fighting stopped and uh, that war was a sort of start and stop war, start and stop, uh, during the truces I uh, was on a sort of detached services and uh, went around to uh, search out my friends uh, with whom I had worked in the underground days. I found that all those who had been working in Keshet and communications in the underground had uh, become part of the same unit in the ground forces. One of them in particular, who was the head of all technical planning in communications, told me of a problem he had in that uh, wire communication was uh, not very reliable because wires could be cut telephone communications in those days uh, between Yerushalayim and Tel Aviv, which was very vital, uh, was established with eight lines, all of which was based on one thin little radio carrier, which was very unique and ingenious. His specific problem at the time was that the net to Beersheba uh, was fluctuating and had severe fading and always was in the habit of going out when it was needed most. After having heard about his problem, I agreed to uh, see what I could do and thought that the answer would not be in the building of larger amplifiers, uh, which would require amplifications beyond the uh, uh, means feasible, uh, that the problem be attacked by uh, developing a directional antenna. I built one for him which amplified the signal or concentrated the signal on an order of several hundred times its unconcentrated value and uh, this worked very well and enabled them to maintain reliable communications between headquarters which were just outside of Tel Aviv and the rear headquarters for the southern front which were located in Beersheba. I did this work during the truces and uh, consulted with various branches of the government involved in communications, including the post office, and uh, gave them the benefit of my knowledge of the recently growing art of antennas uh, as an aid in communications. In January, when fighting resumed, I was assigned to set up a mobile station in the Negev uh, so that independent communications could be had between headquarters and not have to rely on army communications for that purpose. Uh, however, by the time we, I reached uh, the post, the final truce had been signed or the ceasefire, and I was called back. And after spending uh, several weeks going up and down the newly acquired state of Israel, I went back home in March of uh, 1949.